Hey everyone, Tom Pounder here, and this week we are beginning a new series on contentment. Now contentment is deciding to be okay with what you have. It's deciding to be okay with what you have. No matter what you have, you're okay with it. And today we're gonna to look about what Paul said about being content and how, how he had learned how to be content in any situation that he was in. So what I want you to do is the pause video, read this short passage, and then answer these few questions. When you're done, press play, and we'll continue from there. But I want you to see what Paul says about being content no matter what. Okay, so Paul said, be content and that he had learned to be content in any situation that he was in. But guess what? Paul didn't write this when he was sitting down on the beach or in the mountains just enjoying life with a nice soda in his hand and just having lots of candy or whatever kind of food he wanted. He actually wrote this when he was in prison. Yeah, Paul was in prison. In fact, he was in prison quite a few times. And what he was saying is that he's learned to be content in any situation whether he's hanging out with his friends or in jail. And so that is really important that we learn that no matter what situation we're in, we can be content and that God has given us the ability to be content, be okay with what we have. In fact, that's what our bottom line is today. God can help you be okay no matter what. God can help you be okay no matter what. No matter what situation you're in, a good situation, which is preferably, or a bad situation, which we don't ever want to be in. But God can help you be okay. And Paul is a great model and a great example of what it means to be content. Be okay with what you have. And so no matter what you have, good stuff or bad stuff, no matter what situation you're in, a good situation or bad situation, you can be content and God can help you be content. That's how Paul got through it and that's how you can get through it as well. So I want to encourage you, be content, trust God, ask God to help you be content in every situation. Okay, as we wrap up, I want to go over the memory verse that we can look at over the next few months. Here's the memory verse. Luke 12, 15. Then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Life is made up of so much more than what a person has. Don't focus just on what this person has or that person has. Focus on what you have and which God has given you. Be content in every situation, but trust God and he can get you through any situation and he can help you be okay in any situation. So be content today. I want to encourage you to do that no matter what situation you're in. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. If you've got a story about how you've been content over the past few days or past few weeks, or share it below. I'd love to hear your comments on this as well. So definitely share your stories and your thoughts below. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I'll talk to you next time with a whole new story on contentment.